Diana? What are you doing in my room? Nick, where were you? I've been waiting for you for ages. In a galaxy far, far away, you wouldn't understand. How can I help you? <laughs> You're going to wish you were still there. I've got negative line items. Oh, you are so right. I do. Nick, I just really need you again. <laughs> so what's up? Line items. Love them. Hate them. What's up? Negative line items. Can't do them in HubSpot, can you? No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Do you have a partner asking for them? Yeah. So it's a little bit of a situation. They have a homegrown CRM where they were just doing negative line items in the form of downgrades. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a subscription base. Mm -hmm. They want to roll up all of the different types of products that they sell into the company level. And so like each line item is a product. And then whenever they have a deal, that line item then feeds the quantity into the company side on that custom property for that particular product. And it starts summing it up, right? So okay. I can say package one, four, next deal, package one, three more. Okay, total seven. Great, it works great up until there. Because, hey, I now want three instead of the four. That's where they bring in the negative. What happens when somebody wants to get rid of a license or two or three or 100? And so they used to use negative line items for this and they don't know and I don't know. And I just, I need to talk through this. When is the revenue being recorded? Revenue is recognized on a monthly level because this is an MRR and it has no contract end date. So it basically goes on and on until the client actively decides to stop the subscription. Is it a single deal that you're using for each month? Like every month it's no. just that deal is open? Okay, so create a new deal for every month? No, no, no. So it's like a deal and then that deal has a monthly payment. Yep. And then that deal just gets close to one. And that just means that they've approved you're the number that. of licenses in that deal. And that, that's what gets rolled up into the company level. Yeah. Okay, so if they're reporting on monthly, then all of a sudden a downgrade really does mess up all of their... And that needs to be a contract around that. And that, that contract then needs to be sent over to accounting. So that they can know how much to charge the client for the upcoming month because instead mm -hmm. of 100 licenses they might have 70 now so how do we do negative line items in hubspot you don't right so what i was trying to tell them is you need a renewal process you need to build a brand new pipeline where you have a deal and then you have net new upgrade downgrade renewal whatever the case may be as the deal type yeah. so then you can record it but because their deals never have a close date you, they don't want to have a whole new pipeline for renewals because it's basically pointless unless somebody actually wants to churn or remove licenses right but so what about a churn pipeline though or at a specific thing for just churning because you need to record that loss somewhere well i like everywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> because accounting literally needs that information to be able to charge them the following month right so if it's not the renewal pipeline what is another option for this negative line items could you do a and i'm just thinking outside the box here but like could you do something on a monthly basis right there's a time stamp or a stamp of how many licenses they had at that time at that period because if that number of license active at the beginning of a time or the beginning of a thing it's somewhere it's hey today's the first and you have 10. yeah you know next month you have six like could that be stamped somewhere that would that be a solution to consider i don't know nick so I know you though, so I feel like you probably have something in your head that you're like, this is what I would tell them to do. This is what I'm gonna try out. Line item, custom property to track when that line item is a downgrade. Mm -hmm. One. Two, adjust custom properties at the company level so that those downgrade line items don't get summed up in those different packages. Love it. Three, figure out turn. <laughs> Full turn, yeah. <laughs> and I think it could also be one of those, like part of the custom property that I'll do for downgrade. I can just do like another option of that that says churn. And then I can create a, a workflow or a rule within that calculated property at the company level to say, clear out this package line item altogether when it says churn. Yep. Now, I guess the only <laughs> wrench that I want to throw into it is- No, we had to figure it out. <laughs>